it this time? No. The intro? Okay. Hey, everybody. Don't sing this time. We're back. Oh, I sang... Uh, my singing voice is wonderful, I'll have you know. Well, since Blaze has said don't sing the opening, I won't sing it this time. Maybe next time you guys will get treated to a James solo. That's if I'm the... not in this video. That, that would mean a solo, wouldn't it? We're back. Um, welcome to another MotukeFigures.com video spotlight. Um, the camera's fixed, as you can see, because you can actually see us this time. Um, for the last one, for the Hurricane Hordak one, we did something a little different, right? Yeah. We showed some pictures of the figure, and we showed pictures of the, the comics and things like that. Um, it was just, you know, as a filler thing until we got the camera back. Yeah. Which was just a battery issue. It's totally oh, fine now. Oh, have you heard this in the video? If you watch it, if you heard of, pew, that was my brother. That was Keaton, who also is in the other room again. He's playing with Ghostbusters toys right now. Um, so there's a chance he may just walk in on the video. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll find out. I doubt it. Yeah, well, hopefully he won't. Hopefully he'll just stay well, in there and play. Well, we um, he might, he might walk in. We'll see how it goes. Um, but, you know, it was very nice that everybody made the comment that they missed yeah. seeing us and missing us interact and things like that. Our last video um, where they actually got to see us was that artwork video. That's right, it? yeah. And then we just did that Hurricane Hornet because we weren't sure when we had the camera going again. Um, to try and test something out to see if we needed to have filler stuff. But the overwhelming response was that they liked seeing us better. Even though they enjoyed the, the Hurricane Hordak video, yeah. they still liked seeing us better. Which we liked to be able to camera what better. What do of that Hurricane Hordak video? No, maybe? I don't think so. I think it's cool to, as a, like, kind of just like to show that, yeah. you know, we tried something. And if something ever comes we, up and we have to do that way again, we could do it that we way We actually um, said that we'll still show pictures of them, what they look like in the comic, because some guy said he actually liked that. Yeah, some guy said he liked that, but it's a lot of work to do that. That video took me like... Two hours. Two hours to put together. It's way shorter to do this kind. So I'm sorry, the guy, I, I, I forgot his name, uh, I'm really sorry, dude. The guy that said he would like it if we interspersed the comic picture still, I'm sorry, dude. Unless I can figure out a way to do it faster, I probably won't do that, because it's really, like, a lot of work. Um, man, we're, we've been rambling for, like, four minutes already, I'll bet. Oh, wait, um, I... We're doing Triclops today, by the way. I also have an announcement to make. What's the announcement? I'm on the boards now. Oh, Blaze is on the boards now. His username is Blaze. Um, on the hemen.org forums. So he'll be posting in the thread where we post these pictures. Or these videos, I mean. So when we post this one, maybe you'll make a comment on it. If you have something to say. Yep. Like, man, this video was terrible. Yeah, I don't or, think it's hey, man, our videos. Bla Blaze is awesome in these videos, but that dad guy, he's got to retire. He's getting a little too old for these toys. Can't really say that. No, you can't say <laughs> that. Um, okay, so today we're doing track ops. This We had we have pictures ready for this figure, Before so that's why we're not doing Leech right now. Yeah. Um, we got this one ready to go, so let's do the video, let's get him up, let's get back on track, right? Yeah. Now, Triclops is a figure I didn't have as a kid. I know. You know that. Because he wasn't in Filmation a lot, so he was never, like, super important for me to have. Um, I really liked the guys that were in the cartoon. Even though I've always preferred the comics, um, he was in the cartoon very infrequently. So, I didn't see, like, when I went to the store, it wasn't like, I gotta get Triclops before I get many faces or something like that. Definitely but, for some, I think I had the mini-comic as a kid, though, because I remember reading it. So maybe I got it from a cousin or a friend or something like that? No. What, well, how did I get it? Yeah. Do you remember how I got it? Oh, that's right. You weren't born yet. Mm. I know how you got that Keldor, though. How did I get a Keldor? Oh, from Jeremy Padawar. That's a story for another day. Well, you can tell that story during, when you did the, the Keldor Motu Classics figure, though. Wow, we are so off track on this one. Yeah. We are all over the place. Okay, let's just get to, let's the, get to the figure. Now. Let's get to the figure. Okay, so he's a he's a, this is a, a pretty straight redo of the vintage figure. We actually brought down th their vintage figure. I, I know you can mention that for sure, but you know this is the first figure in the line that added in some two thousands elements really to the design of the figure. Um, and Blaze, you can you can highlight the first one because you flat out mentioned it when you got this figure. Um, Wait, do you mean the two thousand X thing? Well, the eye thing. Oh yeah. Um, did you know, well, I have two eye things, actually. Well, let's, uh, let's mention the one you, you definitely mentioned when you first got the figure. Well, this, um, thing, when you twist, twist his blue eye, his head will go with him. No, 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 that's just because it's tight. That's not what you're talking about. Oh, the, What you're talking about is the colors that okay, you mentioned. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, the green eye thing. The green okay. eye? Yeah. yeah. The green eye is not on the vintage figure. It's red on that. Yeah, exactly. So he's got, it, Blaze mentioned that when he first got the figure, he was like, wait a second. He said, this isn't like the vintage figure I have, because it doesn't have two red eyes. That's one of the changes they made from this vintage figure. And if I'm, I'm not mistaken, the 2000X figure did have green, blue, red. He did. Yeah, I thought so. 
Um, so that was a 2000X element, and then even like little designs, like little kind of... Like that blue eye that pops out? Yeah, like little techno type designs, and the techno I'll, lines. I'll hold my finger. Sure, sure. Um, and like the lining in the top of the head yeah. and stuff like that, were all kind of 2000X elements. Plus, if you look underneath his, his visor thing, he's got these little, he's got the coverings on the eyes. And that's another thing from the 2000X, You're just well, more from the Icons of Evil card. What if comic. you put it in your room one night, and there was like this video thing that made it blink and scare you? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. What if it just happened that night when you woke up? Why are you being creepy? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it must be because it's Halloween almost. Yeah. You got some Halloween stuff going on. We watched Ghostbusters the other night at the theater. Yeah. So you've, you've been doing some creepy stuff. Um, but yeah, he's got these, these eye coverings, because in the Icons of Evil comic... It turns out that he's, like, blinded, and he has to use this visor to see with. I see Keaton sneaking up. Hi, Keaton. Hi. Hi. You can come in for a second. You want me to open something? I don't know if Keaton's ever been seen in these videos. I can't remember. You can come all the way around. Come all the way around so they can see you. Say hi real quick. You can say hi real quick. You fucked right in front of the camera. Just stand right here. Right here? No, we're over here. Over here? No, that's Ghostbusters 2. Right here. Right in front of me. And say hi. Hi. <laughs> That's hi. Keaton. Dad. He's the youngest Sawyer. He also likes He Man. And one day he'll be old enough to do videos too. Claw claw. You want me to close it? Is that what you want to? <laughs> okay. There's more I close. Not right now. I'll do it after the video, okay? Is that my leech? That's my leech. Why is there. Just keep that, cat. We gotta finish this video. <laughs> Okay, okay we'll so back to the video. Out. Truck Ops is going to be one of the craziest videos we've posted so far. Yeah, It's it pretty is. much all over the place. Um, so, okay, yeah. he has a lot. He, he's the first figure in the line to really have some 2000X elements added to him. Um, which I'm not, I'm not totally opposed to. I think he still is a great Motu Classics figure, right? He, there is a little bit of changes here and there. I also want to mention, you got a runny nose or something, dude? No, my eyes hurting. Oh, okay. Um... These little daggers on the back. Yeah. When they first showed the prototype, I thought these little daggers came out. Yeah. What's going on? You alright? Yeah, I just felt something that was burning. That was burning. You cool? Yeah. Okay. He had these little daggers shown in the back, and I thought they were going to come out. Yeah. But they don't, but it's still like a cool little detail. But at least I don't have to lose them. Yeah, you won't be losing them anytime soon. It's a really neat little kind of thing. It kind of reminds me of like vintage 80s toys where they had like guns sculpted into their, like especially G.I. Joe, where it was a like gun sculpted into holsters or like knives sculpted in their boot or something like that. You know what I mean? Hey, you could make a He-Man and G.I. Joe toy like because the dagger's in its boot. Oh, yeah, yeah, from the, like, the movie style. Yeah. Okay, so accessories. We'll start with the sword. It comes with the, the sword. And the sword, I love the way it kind of oh, fits yeah. into there. It's like the vintage, you know, where it's got the little side holster thingy. And except better. Except it looks way better. I mean, it, it fits in there exactly and it has like a nice little Can design I to it. Kind of sword? Hang on, sit down, back down for a second. Chill out for a sec. Um, so that fits in there really well. It looks really good. Um, so there's a sword, and then he's got, where'd it go? Another kind of 2000X element they threw in was the... It looks more of a Wind Raider type. Exactly. Good point. Is that it, it kind of looks like Wind Raider in the, the color design, and like the design Oh, and by the, the way, Wind stuff. Raider looks amazing. You're all over. They don't need to talk about the Wind Raider right now, you goof. So they, they did his little, like, drone thingies, his little eye spies, or whatever they're called, um... And then, uh, they, but they did it in, like, vintage -y type colors, sort of, you know. So that's cool. Cool little add-in. It's got the stand and stuff. And then, lastly, if I can find it, the sword. was the Secret Warrior ring. Oh. You know, just like the vintage figure yeah. came with this. Um, it says Master of the Universe Classics. Yeah. Um, I lost mine at the hotel we went to. You lost it there for sure? It's not here. We'll have to show you if we can look around and see if we can find one somewhere. I thought we had more than one somewhere. You gave well, all them to Kian. Well, what we, do, what we do with these is what we'd, um... Yeah, when we left, I had to give him extras because he wanted to go on the trip and he couldn't. Um, what we do with these is we did the He-Man Club. Yeah. We each would wear one and we'd have, like, a club where we'd come down and we'd do coloring and read books and stuff like that. So, He-Man Club ring. Yeah. Um, well, that's an old thing. Okay, and then we want to mention real quick, too, uh, the, the, so the Spine Monkey Sword. He made this. Is this an El like, Zodak type elder? Um, no, no, that's a different one. This one is like the Sword of Ages, yeah. um, and so it's it, it, it looks like his um, like hardback sword, like from the vintage line, and that's a really cool sword to put with it. Um, it's not intended for Triclops, I know. but it does look cool with Triclops. Mm -hmm. So, 
So that's the figure. Cool stuff for the figure. Let's bio. talk about the bio real quick. Ready? Yep. All right. You sure? I okay? Yeah, it just hurts a little. Okay, you're doing some blinking. Are you all right? Yeah. Okay. Um, his real name is Tridor Esuniex Scope. Worst name ever. It's a pretty terrible name, but it's it's because you know it's they're doing the TE scope, which was in like the Filmation Bible. He was one of the astronauts that came down. And so that they're they're playing that in. Yeah, they're putting TE scope and making him Tridor as soon as he scope. It's still crazy. I don't I don't know why that element from the story because I don't think anybody ever liked the element of having Biff Beastman and Evelyn Powers and TE scope as astronauts that turn into those characters. Yeah. You see, can you set up your like going crazy, dude? Um so having those characters be those characters is kind of like an element that didn't need to be brought back. Anyways, Originally an interdimensional bounty hunter and tracker, Scope was recruited by Skeletor during one of the final battles of the Great Unrest to bolster his weakened forces. As good with a blade as he is crafty, Scope took the name Triclops after an accident left him blind, and he was forced to wear a trioptic visor, which granted him extent expanded tracking abilities including gamma vision, the ability to see round objects, distivision, a form of far vision, night vision, and the ability to generate optic blasts. Triclops uses his three different eyes to spy for Skeletor. Wait, they said, they did four different things. There's only three eyes. Oh, they're just saying he has those different powers of vision. And what's that one first thing you said again? The first one was Gamma Vision, which what's is the ability gamma? it's the ability to see around objects. Oh. Um. So I mean, this this bio for the most part includes the vintage mini comic because he's the bounty hunter hunter tracker guy. Um, and then the rest of it is almost all from the Icons of Evil comic. Yeah. Which I don't have a problem with because I like I the Icons of Evil. Wait, for me? I want to mention something. Sure. Okay, I say that this one can see around stuff and really far. And the green Oh, you're explaining which eyes do what? Okay, yeah. yeah I made a you should tell the colors because they can't see which and, from there. Well, the blue eye can see far and around stuff. And the green eye, I made my own thing. It can make him see, like, it can make other people see illusions. So, when I was playing with my Tila toy, she thought I was heaving because he disguised himself with his... Oh, you gave him illusion powers with the eyes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they don't. I, I don't think they really say which eye does what. So it's it's well, up to, we all know that it's an eye. avatar of the imagination, as Toy Guru would say. So, what do you think of Triclops overall? Cool figure. I think he's cool. Yeah. I think he's really awesome. Um, I like the bounty hunter aspect yeah. more than the the tech guy that they did. And we should probably mention that real quick. They made him like the tech guy in the 2000 X yeah. cartoon. I don't like that. I, I could do without that. And it, it doesn't mention the whole tech elements in here, like he's the inventor guy or something like that, um, which is good. I, I'm glad they left that out. I don't really think of him as the tech guy. He's a bounty hunter guy. I kind of think of him as kind of a separate guy from the rest of yeah. Skeletor's guys that kind of does his own thing and is there just to... Well, almost like the Boba Fett. Yeah, I was of, sort of making my own sort of Hemi type movie thing with my own figures, and he sort of ran away from Skeletor and him and Mario joined forces. See, that, that's exactly what I think of Triclops as, is he's a separate type guy, and he allies himself with Skeletor when it meets his needs. But he's not, like, the guy they portrayed him to be in the 2000X cartoon, where he's sitting in a lab working on stuff, like the man-at-arms of the Skeletor guys. I never liked that element. But the figure, back to the figure itself, we're going uh, on to the Triclops character. Um, Dad. What's up? Hi, Keaton. I'll be with you in one second. We're almost done with this one. Actually, we better sign off. I think we've said enough about Triclops anyway, right? So we'll, uh, we'll hit up with Leech next time. Um, and I guess that's it for this one, right? Yep. Good, good seeing journey. you guys again. I bet it was good seeing us, too. <laughs> we can't see you. All right, well, good journey, guys, good and journey. we'll see you guys next time.